Hey, back at it again with a story from the Spark Bible. So we're continuing in this Jesus is raising up into the world. We had Christmas where he was born. We just had him as a little baby being brought to the temple to be blessed. Today, we get to hear about Jesus being the word. The beginning of the book of John starts off with saying that the word was in the beginning and that Jesus was the word and the word was beginning to come into the world. But before he could come into the world, we had John the Baptist, which we've talked about before, but this is a little different introduction using John the Baptist. So Mia's going to read it and we're going to reflect on it a little bit. Since we've already made a few videos of John the Baptist, we thought we'd do another read and reflect. Sound good? Good. Let's go. From John chapter 1. When John the Baptist baptized people, he always talked about Jesus, even though he'd never met Jesus. Wait, what? Weird. How does he talk about him if he didn't know him? Yeah. Well, well, John the Baptist believed the Messiah was coming. And when he was speaking of the one who would come after him, he was speaking about Jesus. But he didn't know who it was. So he's saying, oh boy, when this guy comes, boy, you're going you're gonna to be shocked. And that's why he was talking about him. Go ahead. As John dipped his hands into the cold, clear water, he said, Jesus was meant was sent to, to be God's to be God's word. Everything Jesus knows everything God wants to tell us. As John baptized people, he said, Jesus will bring to, truth and grace to everyone on earth. Ooh, that's actually something in the prophets they talked about too, that this Son of man would be like an arbitrator amongst people, a prince of peace, right? A good shepherd, these things. So he's saying he's going to he's gonna embody the word in his ways, in his works. And that is very much what Jesus does. So John's baptizing folks. He baptized people who wanted to follow Jesus and live the life God wanted them to live. Some people didn't believe him, but John kept talking to everyone he met. When John finally got to meet Jesus, he was so excited. He told everyone, he told everyone, this is Jesus, the man I've been talking about, and God sent Jesus to teach us. Hooray. Do you know what John the Baptist is when you get down to it? One, it says John the Baptist, and then when like you hear the word evangelist, you think of the ones who wrote the Bible, right? Like uh, the ones who like tell the story. This guy is one an evangelist because he wants to tell the people what he loves talking about. I love that line when John, what does it say? Some people didn't believe him, but John kept talking to everyone he met. Have you ever had something that you loved and were so passionate about that you couldn't help talking to everybody you could about it? I'll tell you, when I was a kid, it was always like comic books, superheroes, or, or, or a movie I'd just seen. If, if you didn't see it, don't worry. I'll tell you everything that happened in it verbatim. Very annoying. Don't do that. But that's what happens when you're like an evangelist. You're like, you have to see this flick. Let me tell you all the funniest parts in it. Do you have a thing like that that you like a lot that then you end up talking to people about all the time? It happened one time. I don't remember what it was, but... I'll tell... From my observation, you read Harry Potter and you have since been very into like fantasy books and uh, like magic. So that's what you always play. What's the game that you guys always play together? You play... Witten. Yes, they play games where they're making spooky spells and all this stuff because you like doing that and you can't help but want to share it with other people. But then the other thing that John is, is he is an enthusiast. He is so filled with the spirit that he has to do it. So it says when John finally got to meet Jesus, he was so excited. That's an enthusiast, right? Like he's moved by this moment. What's something that you're an enthusiast about that when you're doing that, you're just really, um, you're just caught up in it. Can you think of anything? We used a telescope uh, just the other day and Mia loved the telescope. Why? Because you were just like, oh, space, outer space. She's a space enthusiast. She loved, what, what do you like about outer space? 
Mysteries. Mysteries. It's so big. How do you wrap your head around how big it is? Harvey, what do you like? What are you an enthusiast about? He likes space too. We got some little sci-fi kids here. Um, and you want, you're an enthusiast. So when you learn about things about space, you're like, can you believe that's a thing? John is a, an evangelist for this coming kingdom and an enthusiast about what that means for the people around him. So what's something that you're an evangelist for? What's something that you're like, I got to tell everybody about this? They're usually good things. So what are some good things you could share with your neighbors this week? What's the word? The word, the good news that you can share and how can you share it? How, what about this life in faith, whether it's God's wondrous creation, in your case, space, right? Mm -hmm. That God created the whole cosmos from a whisper and it showed up. How do you become an enthusiast for that and try to ensnare other people and go, isn't creation amazing? You are capable of being an evangelist and an enthusiast for good things. So what's something good you can share with the world this week? What's a good story? What's something you're passionate about? A talent, a skill, um, something you love that brings you joy that you can share with your neighbors and be that evangelist. Say, I got to tell you about this thing I love. Or how do you, as an enthusiast, find something and be passionate about it and share that with other people? Because that was John the Baptist, for sure. The word was Jesus Christ. And that word just ensnared John. And he loved it. So what from the word could you share that you could be ensnared by? Peacemaking, love, creation, all of God's mercy, forgiveness. It's, you got the ability to do that. So give it a whirl. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye. Go team. Go team.